What is the difference between skilled nursing and assisted living? And does Medicaid pay for assisted living? Yesterday, February 26, uh, somebody put a very sincere question on a closed Facebook group here in Northern New Jersey. And in a very short time, there have been over 75 comments or re replies and responses. Uh, I'm not gonna name the full names, I'll just use the uh, initials. KBR asked this very sincere question. My dad is in rehab and has some dementia. The facility is telling me I need to find a skilled nursing care. Why can't he go to assisted living with a memory care unit? He is still a viable person who just sometimes forgets. Anyone have an experience with or can explain the differences between assisted living, memory care, and skilled nursing? I am burned out. Uh, out of the 75 comments, I just picked a few to kind of share my thoughts and summarize my answer to this question and hopefully provide some help. Uh, initial CPB gave a really good answer. Skilled nursing means he has medical needs that require a nurse. Memory care units do not provide nursing care, although they may have a nurse on staff for medicine, distribution, etc. They aren't there 24 seven. Does he require IV medication, respiration, or have any other medical device? Assisted living means they can live basically independent with some assistance, although many places allow you to have aids with the resident. Memory care is for those with more advanced memory issues that require them to be in a locked facility for their own safety. Uh, I basically agree with that answer. It was very informed and well said. I just want to add, uh, in this industry, we call it ADLs, uh, Activities of Daily Living. And that's what assisted living provides. It takes care of your ADLs, uh, which is when you need help showering or going to the bathroom or getting out of bed and into bed or getting dressed, med management. And I want to just add to um, just in a it feel the feel is different. A skilled nursing facility feels more like a hospital, uh, whereas an assisted living home, it's, it's going to feel more like a hotel with a dining room with a waiting service and many amenities. Uh, moving on with some more things. Uh, someone with the initial, initials LJ said, skilled care is a nursing home, assisted living, this is where my sister-in-law is, offers everything except respiration and IV. They do handle grooming, one-on-one -on -one care, med management for an extra fee. Memory care is all-inclusive and handles everything for a set fee. With memory care, the only thing that would be extra is incontinence supplies. Uh, that was a very good answer, and I just want to share, in northern New Jersey and throughout the country, general assisted living is usually not inclusive. There's a, they charge you for rent, which includes your room and your three meals a day and your activities and car service uh, and cleaning, and then they charge you another charge for levels of care, but there are some assisted living homes that provide all-inclusive pricing where no matter how much your needs go up, it's a flat rate. Uh, in memory care, it costs more per month because there's more staff and more care and it's more work. Memory care, they do have places that are what we call a la carte pricing where you pay your rent and then you pay an extra for your levels of care and every other month or so, they might adjust and increase those levels of care. But it's becoming more common in the memory care sections for it to be, for them to have all-inclusive pricing. So that that is generally true. It, it is much more common to find all-inclusive pricing for memory care or different tier levels of all-inclusive pricing. It's, it's typical to see three, mild, mid, and severe. Uh, but generally speaking, uh, they do provide all-inclusive pricing, which does save you a lot of money in the end. Someone with the initials DDV said, for starters, assisted living is private pay. Skilled nursing is covered for a short time by insurance. 
And I just want to say, generally speaking, maybe that's true, but、uh, there are buildings nationwide, and here in North Jersey, I know of three legitimate buildings where every bed can be paid for by Medicaid. Where the resident doesn't pay anything if they're already on New Jersey State Medicaid, and Medicaid will pay for everything.、Uh, I'm I'm told that it's rude to call that a Medicaid bed, but in the industry, many people call those Medicaid beds.、Uh, those places do exist. There are many more buildings and options, which we call private pay buildings, where the vast majority of the residents are paying. Privately, some of them using、uh, long-term care insurance,、uh, which is kind of rare these days. There's an interesting law in New Jersey: the private pay assisted living buildings built after 2001 are required to provide 10% of their beds as Medicaid beds.、Uh, right when they open, they usually have a three-year grace period before they need to provide those, and so. There is a way, and there is a chance for someone to begin as a private pay resident. Resident typically private pay for two years or three years, and then on their own, if they qualify for New Jersey State Medicaid, it's possible for them to get a Medicaid bed in a private pay building, which is a win-win situation.、Uh, if a building. Verbally tells you that if you private pay spend down for two years, that you will get a Medicaid bed. Is that legally binding? I don't know. I do know some buildings. I'm going to be careful how I say this, but some of the buildings will provide it in writing in a contract that's signed that says after a certain period of time. Some say one and a half years. Some say more. Some even say less. That if you private pay for that set period of time, and then if you get approved for New Jersey State Medicaid on your own, you will be guaranteed a Medicaid bed in that private pay building. And I have spoken to several families that where their loved one is in that Medicaid bed in a private pay building for multiple years, and the building has lived up. To its promise, so that、uh, is a little bit more complex.、Uh, someone with the initials S H D wrote: Skilled nursing is required if he needs any kind of IV or feeding tubes. Assisted living, memory care does not take IVs or feeding tubes.、Uh, this person said: I work in assisted living. PM me if you need any more information.、Uh, that's basically true. Uh, per, uh, someone with the initials R A wrote, "My neighbor's mom has modest dementia and is in the memory care unit at a building in New Jersey. She found it through Place for Mom. A counselor will undertake a detailed interview with you to learn about your dad. Then we'll make suggestions. Skilled nursing equals nursing home, but sounds like your dad might not be ready for that, etc., etc." Uh, that's true, and I just want to say、um, that that is exactly what I do. Is if you contact me in here in northern New Jersey, where I live,、uh, I can meet with your loved one and help them find the right building. It's my job to know the buildings here, like the back of my hand, and my colleagues nationwide know the buildings in their neighborhoods as well. Moving on. Uh, Gail, oh, excuse me. The initials GC said, many places have a memory unit. Catch is when their memory runs out and they have to go on Medicaid. Will they be able to stay in that unit or go on a waiting list for for placement that they are in? If they can't stay, Medicaid moves them to another place where they have room. Not all places will keep them in that unit after their mo- money is gone. Find a place that will keep them permanently after all their money is gone, and end up on Medicaid. This is very interesting. It's for many families. It's hard to predict when your loved one can legally get accepted and approved for in our state, New Jersey State Medicaid. So it's very interesting planning out how to 
find the best place, the most comfortable place, um, where hopefully they could stay for the rest of their lives. Uh, I do want to say that, um, once again, that larger discussion of does Medicaid pay for assisted living, uh, including memory care, in many cases it does, even in the private pay buildings, um, you know the word due diligence, the term due diligence, you really should um, study, learn, and honestly talk to people like me and others who work in this industry in your locality and find out all the answers and hopefully make the, the best decision. You know, there's over 75 comments. It can go on and on and on. Um, I just wanted to leave these comments. Hopefully it was helpful. Uh, if it was helpful, please press subscribe to see more of my videos. Thank you for watching.